Hello, it's Sam here with Everything Electrical here on YouTube. Today we're making a video going over MC cable, how to strip it properly. And MC cable stands for metal clawed cable. MC is metal clawed, for those of you that don't know. And there's two types of MC. Here I have a steel. MC cable, and you know that it's steel based on the color of it. You see that this is blue. And here I have an aluminum type, which is identified by just seeing that it's silver. The reason that it's important to know the difference between the two is there's two types of connectors. Here I have a set screw connector, which is for the steel type and cannot be used with the aluminum. For the aluminum cable, you have to use a compression type fitting, which I have here. So to get started, we're going we're gonna to strip this cable and show you how it's done properly. I'm going to start with the steel. Whenever you're stripping the MC cable, you want to make sure that you get a good length on the end of the cable. I usually go about that much probably a little bit more than a foot and you want to use a roto zip tool that's the proper way to do it some people use it use their dikes to cut the cable that is improper and it shouldn't be done you should always use a roto zip cable when stripping MC the way it works you put the MC into the tool you press down on the clamp to where it's to where you're not pressing hard but it's it's firm in there and you take the tool and you strip it just like that. Once you have it stripped, it will easily pull off. You'll have something like that. The next step is to take an anti short, which is this little red piece here. Some people call them red devils, but anti short is a proper term. Now, if I can get a close-up here, where you strip the MC wire, there'll be an end. You'll have a longer piece right there. That's going to be the center of the MC or the anti-short. And the center of the anti-short, you can see it has that piece that's above it. That's going to be the center. And you line that up with the longest piece of the MC. And then it slides in like so. Okay. Once you've done that, you take the plastic insulate, insulation and you're going to fold it over the center of the insulation. You're going to fold it in that center point where you strip the cable. That's where it looks something like that. Once you have that, you take your connector, you take the set screw and you're going to line it up with the center again and it slides right over. Once you've done that, you take your screwdriver and tighten it down like so. And that is the proper way to strip MC cable. Now it's ready to be landed into a box. We're going to do the same thing again, but this time with the aluminum MC. I'll show you again. Take about that much length. Put it into your rotor zip. Firmly press down on it. That MC should just come off very easily. At the, at the longest point of the cable, you take your anti-short, take the center of your anti-short and line it up with the longest point of the MC and put it in like so. You take your plastic insulation, 
you center it up with your center point and pull it back. Now this is the compression fitting for the aluminum MC. You cannot use the set screw connectors on this aluminum MC. It's against code. If you're in the city and you're getting inspected, inspected you, you'll fail your inspection. So it's important to know the difference between the steel and the aluminum. With the aluminum, you have to use this compression fitting versus the steel. You can use the set screw or the compression. It doesn't matter for the steel, but for the aluminum, you cannot use the set screw type. You have to use this type. So you put your connector on, line it up with the center. So. Tighten it down. And there you have it. That's how you that's how you strip MC cable. The two different types that there are. And that pretty much covers it. Um, I hope you found this helpful and educational. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more.